The 2024 F1 season has highlighted the decline of Red Bull Racing's dominance since the beginning of the ground effect era. With seven different race winners so far, six have come from teams other than Red Bull. Despite the RB20's formidable performance, Perez has yet to join the ranks of winners, a list that already includes drivers from Ferrari, Mercedes, and McLaren. The Milton Keynes-based team fast-tracked a major revision to the side pods and engine cover last weekend in Hungary, ditching its characteristic Mercedes-style gullies. The new direction was about maximizing downforce because, although it is less efficient aerodynamically, that compromise did not matter at a tight and twisty track like the Hunger Roaring. Ultimately, the changes proved to be a disappointment, as Max Verstappen, who exclusively ran the new arrangement, felt they had not delivered the step forward hoped for. The lack of progress has triggered some concern from that Red Bull could find itself on the back foot against the increasingly strong McLaren team, now widely acknowledged to have the fastest car in F1. Red Bull team boss Christian Horner admitted after the Hungarian GP that the team now desperately needed answers as to why progress had not been as great as it had hoped for. For this weekend's Belgian Grand Prix, Verstappen is set to go back to the old style bodywork because Spa is a track that demands extreme aero efficiency, so the high drag version ran in Hungary would not work there. Red Bull, in effect, has taken track-specific car changes, which in the past mainly just involved front and rear wing levels, to now include wide-scale bodywork tweaks. The team took more of a radical approach than many expected with its RB20 after dominating the last two seasons. It obviously knew that it was only a matter of time before rivals got on top of the issues that had proved problematic in the ground effect era. Verstappen is expected to receive yet another setback in the shape of a 10-place grid penalty for this weekend's Grand Prix. After experiencing some woes with his power units this season, his engine allowance exceedance is anticipated, seeing a less than ideal starting position for the race. F1 rules indicate that drivers can only use a certain number of engines per season, which currently stands at four, and exceeding this limit will result in a 10-place grid penalty. Verstappen's car lost a power unit back in June's Canadian Grand Prix despite branding a fresh third engine, forcing Red Bull to use his fourth and final engine for the Spanish Grand Prix. After suffering another frustrating race in last weekend's Hungarian Grand Prix, which made it three consecutive races without a win, the world champion will see a 10-place grid penalty this weekend as Red Bull have decided to take the hit. This year's race for the title is a hot contest, more so than previous years, which saw Verstappen's dominance rule out room for title place rivalries. This year sees the Dutchman leading McLaren's Lando Norris by 76 points, a gap Red Bull will be eyeing after McLaren's commanding performance in Hungary that landed them first and second on the podium. The Belgian Grand Prix is the last one before the summer break. The fact that drivers and teams get a few weeks off is not a bad thing in the case of Red Bull Racing. Things have not really been going well at the Austrian racing stable in recent weeks, causing frustrations back and forth, which Helmut Marko agrees with. Not only have the results been a bit off in recent weeks, but internally at Red Bull, they had expected a bit more from the update rolled out at the Hungaroring. Add to this the fact that Perez has underperformed for several races in a row, and a disgruntled Verstappen. Verstappen's dissatisfaction does not just stem from the fact that he was on a poor strategy in Hungary, or that the biggest update so far did not save as much time as hoped. Even before the weekend in Budapest, the three-time world champion expressed that some people need to wake up. I think McLaren looked very strong in the long run. Of course, they have been for the last few races, I don't suddenly see us being stronger there either. At least with me, they know I don't make excuses. I am always realistic about that. Maybe not everyone is on the same wavelength, but I think some people do need to wake up a bit. I don't need to go into details who that is. In the beginning, they were always second or third, but is it that they are going to win? Maybe be first and second or first and third. I don't know at the moment, but what can I do? I mean, we'll try our very best. Try to have a good stable balance with the car. And I hope if I find that, that I can follow them. But I don't know. I mean, honestly, my long runs have been okay, but nothing fantastic or special. I think it's better to be realistic than sitting here and spreading false hope. But yeah, we'll see tomorrow. I mean, it is what it is. The form of Perez has allowed their rivals to close the gap in recent outings, with McLaren in particular emerging as serious challengers to the Red Bull throne. 
Oscar Piastri secured his first F1 win at the Hungaroring, one place ahead of Lando Norris, who has already proven his credentials with a run of podium finishes, following on from his sensational maiden win in Miami. Horner has been impressed with the British team's progression and believes their car's ability to perform at optimum level across a variety of circuit configurations suggests that it is currently a more versatile machine. I think their car is in a better window than ours at the moment. It's perhaps easier or a broader window. Our window seems to be very peaky, and that's what's making it difficult for the engineers, difficult for the drivers. I think we have to take the balance of the car and make that window broader, as it's so critical on temperature and all the relevant factors. And I think that's something that the team are very aware of and working very hard on. McLaren obviously have a lot of pace at the moment. They had a big score at Hungary, and we need to start scoring big points from next weekend onwards. I think we've got more performance to bring, so as I say, I think we need to expand that operating window for the car. Perez's poor form has left Red Bull vulnerable in the Constructors' Championship. This weekend is the final race before the summer break, in which Red Bull intends to make a decision on its Formula One driver lineup for the rest of 2024. Red Bull wants to wait until August to make an informed decision about what to do away from the stresses and swings of race weekends. Its options are, on paper, simple keep Perez and back him to do the job, or replace him and reshuffle its pack in the process. Perez built on his best ever finish of P2 in last year's standings by scoring four podiums from the opening five races of 2024 to back up Verstappen and help Red Bull build a solid lead in the Constructors' Championship. However, his performances have nosedived since then, including a disastrous turn of events in qualifying with four Q1 exits at the last six Grand Prix. The Mexican crashing out of proceedings in Hungary last weekend. Before that incident, Red Bull technical director Watch was asked about Perez's struggles and what he feels are the factors behind them, to which he replied, If I knew, I would fix it. It's difficult to say. I think it's partly us for sure, and it's what we have to do to try to help him to extract the potential of the car. I have some feedback from him. We have some feedback. We try to help him. The point is not only reflecting to how he feels in the car. Sometimes he's unlucky, you know? It's what happened in some quali sessions that could affect the overall result of the race. I think we are trying to understand what he suffers with, or with the characteristic and balance that could help him. When we understand that, and that is quite difficult to be honest, how we transform that in terms of setup, or in terms of car characteristic development. Perez sits seventh in the driver's standings after 13 of 24 scheduled races this season, 141 points behind Verstappen, with the McLaren drivers, Ferrari pair, and Mercedes man Lewis Hamilton sitting between them. So, do you think Red Bull will be able to turn things around in Belgium this weekend? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, and make sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest F1 news.